everyone, welcome to today's maths lesson. Today in maths we're going to be looking at the factors of a number. Now a factor of a number is where there's one or two numbers that can be divided without a remainder. So hopefully you'll remember in class we used to draw factor bugs to help us solve these problems. Um, so you can see here that I've drawn some on the board for you. We're going to go through these together and then you've got some to solve on your home learning tasks. So let's start with this one here. So we've got the number 21. We need to find all the factors, all those numbers that can be divided equally um, from 21. Now, hopefully you'll remember that on the antennae of these bugs, we always put number one and the number itself. So in this case, the number one and 21. And then we start working through systematically. So I've had number one, now I'm going to try number two. So let's see if I can count in twos and reach 21. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22. So 2 is not a factor of 21 because it doesn't fit in equally. So we've tried number 2. Let's just make a jotting of that so we don't forget. Let's try number 3. Let's count in threes and see if we can reach 21. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. We can, so the next pair of factor bugs is three and seven. Okay, let's try number four. Four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24. That doesn't work. So we'll make a jotting so we don't forget. From last week, we know that five isn't going to be a factor of 21 because it doesn't end in five or zero. Uh, let's try 6. 6, 12, 18, 24. No. And 7, we already know. 7, 14, 21. So these are all the factors of 21. Let's move on to 40. So perhaps you could pause the video and have a go yourselves to start with. Okay, so at the top we have the number 1 and the number itself. So in this case, one and 40, they are both factors of 40. Now let's try number two. Let's count in twos until we reach 40. Now I'm going to save a bit of time because I know that two times 10 is 20. So I'm going to count on from 20. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. 32, 34, 36, 38, 40. So in this case, the number 2 and 20 are factor pairs of 40. OK, let's try counting in threes. I know that 3 times 10 is 30. So let's count on in threes. 30, 33, 36, 39, 42. So it's too high. 3 is not a factor of 40. OK, uh, let's try number four. Um, I know my four times table. I know that four times ten is 40. So four and ten are going to be factors. Uh, and again, thinking back to last week, it must be a factor of five because it ends in zero. So let's count in fives and figure out what the other number will be. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty. So our missing number is eight. So those are all the factors of 40. Okay, so we're on to the number 36 now. So the first two numbers are going to be the number one and the number itself. So in this case, one and 36. Okay, uh, let's try number two. Let's count in twos and see if we reach 36. I know that two times 10 is 20. So I'm going to count on from 20 and see if I can reach 36. 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. Okay, so that should have given us 18. Okay, let's try the number three. I know that three times 10 is 30, so I'm going to count on from there and see if I can reach 36. 30, 33, 36. So this one will be 3 and 12. Let's try number 4 next. 
Let's count in fours and see if we can reach 36. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36. So the number 9. 36 is not a multiple of 5 because it doesn't end in 5 or 0, uh, but it is a multiple of 6. Let's prove it by counting in 6s. 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. And I wonder if you can remember what this is called, where 6 times by itself creates 36. Have a think. The answer is that this is a square number. 36 is a square number because 6 times by itself is 36. The square root of 36 is 6. OK, let's move on to the number 19. So let's start off with the antennas. It's always number 1 and the number itself. Let's try counting in twos. Let's see if we can get to 19. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. It's not a factor of 19. What about the number 3? Let's count in threes. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 21. 3 is not a factor of 19. Let's count in fours. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 4 is not a factor of 19, uh, nor is 5 because it doesn't end in 5 or 0. 6, 12, 18, 24. 7, 14, 21. 8, 16, 24. You get the gist, guys. There is actually only two factors of 19, which is 1 and the number itself. So 19 is what we call a prime number because the only two factors are one and itself okay and i'm going to speed through the last two so pause the video and see if you can have a go at these yourselves okay i'm going to put the answers up now for you so you should have one and 42 two and 21 three and 14 six and seven Okay, and for 99, pause the video and have a go yourselves. Okay, I'm going to put the answers up for you. So you should have 1 and 99, 3 and 33, 9 and 11. Okay, good luck with your home learning, guys. Make sure you send some in. I love watching uh, and seeing what you've been doing with your math. So keep up the good work. I'm really proud of you all. Um, 